Oh, this goes well with pretzels and hot mustard. No, I'm going. Yeah, goes good with pretzels, bro. It really does. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew heads? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is Seek Certified Brewhead. And I am Scott Beer, cold beer enthusiast. Welcome to another edition of Beer Mail. Beer Mail! On BOS. And, mate, this is by far... What a beer mail. The largest beer mail we have received thus far. It's a wall of beer mail. A, w- a wall. Like, and we're going to take this wall down. Let's do it. God one by it. one. One brick at a time. <laughs> so, huge shouts to Mandy at uh, Left Field for reaching out and being so kind and sending this fantastic beer mail. I saw uh, a bunch of our... Uh, be a media brethren, uh, also brethren. rocking it. Yeah, I say brethren for the scar. Oh, brethren. sorry. Thanks yes. for translating. You know, um, and uh, yo, this is uh, basically Leftfield have sent this out because they have started doing home delivery, which is sick within Ontario. Yep, you can order all of their fire ass beers. I mean, who like even uh, no was saying before, they, some, wasn't it if you said that uh, you knew they did a bunch of beer, but you didn't know they packaged. Yeah this many beers which I actually didn't know either I didn't even know they did the small can which is sick yeah I think that's fairly new as well yeah and the the delivery is new for a lot of breweries too I think it's such a great idea because for a lot of people the east end is a little bit out of the way me personally it's way on the other end of the subway line so if I can just order it to my front door like that just makes it so much more convenient yeah and you've already been ordering from breweries in Ontario yeah I just started doing that because it's just like I'd rather do that than go the LCBO man just go straight to the source and order it online it comes shipped within like usually like three to five business days pretty good right to the front door like it's the best way to do it man I'm very jelly because uh, in Quebec we can't, uh, they you know, couldn't ship, this had to be shipped to Ontario. Right. So we shipped it over to yeah, Russia's I think it's within and, the province right now. But yeah, this hopefully le- legal stuff. It's, be, yeah. Uh, within the thing, I mean, I think when we all do trades and stuff, it's a little like under the radar type yeah. stuff. So this has to be above board. But uh, very grateful to have received this. Absolutely. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically crack every single one, which is, we thought, should we just do a few? And we're like, nope. No. We do them all. We're going to do, a, there's a bunch of us here to uh, consume them. So we're going to. Uh, there's actually 30 people back here, all like our family and friends. Hey, guys. Hey. hey, you each get a quarter ounce of each. At, Woo! That's it. Yeah. Quarter, oh, eighth uh, of an ounce. Um, so we actually have to map this out to figure which <laughs> order to do it because it's not just like let's start with, with the lager. But yeah, yeah. Um, what are we starting with? We're doing Maris first. Maris, Maris. Ah, the bluey. Side. bluey. So as it say anything about Maris? It's a pale ale, four point five percent. Came out in two thousand and thirteen. I know Leftfield would have been around since then. Oh yeah, damn, that's gangster. Um, I feel like they've been like something. I only went there once, actually. Um, when did we go? Like when we when we went to Michigan, we swung past and picked up the um, your little dash of bridles. Yep. Um, what's the joint? The Lolly uh, freaking uh, Mango Lassi IPA. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Were you with me then? Uh, I came. In, I went there first. Right. And then came and scooped you. I don't know what to do with this. No, no, no idea. No, we can put it right back. Put it right back. Oh, we'll work it All right. After. Nice, clear, pale ale. Oh, great nice. You've had this before, right? I'm going to have to check as so I'm saving a little okay. for the review in case not, but cheers. Get in your cheese. Nice. Kind of English style pale ale, but with fruity hops. Um, it's not like crazy malt forward. I mean, look at that color. It's like golden. It's not like. It's uh, more hop forward, to be honest. Mm. I like it. Crushable. Very easy to drink. Crisp, refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Flavorful. Really crisp. Really yeah. crisp. Any thoughts? No shit. Loves it. Basically, no, she gives it the thumbs up. Boom. Take up approval. Mm. I really like the branding. I feel like Leftfield have nailed the, the branding. and um, Like, even now, when we got Laser Show, I remember you brought that to Montreal. It was in one of the, like, the unlabeled, yes. like, standard generic bottles with the tags, which I really like mm. the tags. It's super sexy. You yeah. see uh, Nate Shasta, Nate from RMDB, he put him on his Christmas tree. Yeah. All his oh, did he? Nice. Yeah. Got good, a little, good, like, good a call. mini tree just yeah. with the, with the tag. Call. You're a good bloke, Nate. Um, yeah, I really like the branding. I feel like they're just, like, something about this, like, I don't know if we've spoken about it before, but if you can see like the colors and it's like the same thing, but different colors, like that to me is the ultimate um, beer branding. A lot of breweries, well, not a lot, some do it. Um, and I just feel like if you saw this on the shelf and you saw in a, in a fridge and there was just like six, eight beers that had just like a blue, red, yellow, green, blah, 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 yeah. like it's fire. And that's what this is looking like. So I'm being a, a sportser myself. I like you are a sportser. The, uh, 
the association with baseball and all the kind of funky baseball names and yeah, is it. everything to do with baseball? Because yep. I don't know that everything. Like yeah, pretty much. Can I, you explain stuff? What's Maris mean? Does that mean something? Oh, uh, it's, it's, a on the pl- back. it's a player. Yeah, it was a. Um, That's a player. Yeah. Roger Maris. So, oh yeah. Shout out to Rudge. And like bang bang is like a bang bang play, like a quick one two play. Uh, Ephus is a, was a pitch, like the, the a really um, kind of funky pitch they used to use back in the day occasionally. Uh, I don't know. They all kind of have laser show. Uh, laser show, maybe like when you like got pitchers throwing the ball real oh, fast. Real like I don't know. Now I'm just making stuff up, but I know a lot of them are Greenwood. Actually, at the station. Yeah, the stations are there. But is that like something to do with baseball? Maybe, maybe That's not. A reference, yeah, could be spaceman. No, I... <laughs> check that out. Notion. I'm losing it. I, uh... Link in the description. Um, let's go to the nexty because I just I feel like yeah, we're, we're taking we're gonna okay. be here for like 35 minutes. Uh, what did we just y'all gonna get bored? Two? We have we have to note it. Wrigley Wriggles. Oh, so little dog, little dog. Wrigley dog, dog. is the resident dog at left field, so he's often uh... hanging out at the brewery. I think he's the owner's dog, which would be uh, Mandy. Yeah, Mandy and Mark. Super cute, always hanging out. Yeah, it. It. also Wrigley is like Wrigley Field, Wrigley in, Field uh, in Chicago. Chicago that's See? right. I know sports, bro. Yeah. Bro, one of the biggest sports I've ever met. That's impressive, bro. Mm-hmm. Really. I'm just saying. See, you like, didn't expect that, did I you? Did not see it yeah, Chicago Cubs won the uh, World Series the other year, whatever it was last year. Yeah, that's right. I was there. I was watching, yeah. celebrating, celebrating. You stick to your Australian sports, okay? I do what I want. Stay away from my baseball, <laughs> cricket, mate. Warning. Mm-hmm. Get that AFL. In. You guys got that? Yeah. That's an intense sport, man. AFL? Yeah. Hey, as you rule, that's a whole other it's a whole other combo. So this is a... Uh, what's Oat, it called again? Oat Pale Ale. Wrigley. Oat Pale Ale. That's a beauty. Yep. Well, it smells fantastic. A little Just, bit of haze, yeah. A little bit of haze. I'd say opaque. It's a light color. Yeah. Nice. Light straw color almost, yeah. Wicked fruity nose. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Get in here. Oh my lord! Soft and fluffy. Yeah, creamy Sexy. mouthfeel. That's what the oat, the oat gives you. That yeah. Wriggles knows how to make a beer, little fella, eh? <laughs> <laughs> little Wriggles. <laughs> hey, did anyone call it that? I wanted to do. I just had a weird vision of him like stirring it with his tail, like in the mash. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, guys, we're doing a good job. <laughs> like, this brew's gonna be great. <laughs> Love beer, <from> baseball. <laughs> I don't know why dogs have to talk like like that. that. (laughs) It's that little low, like, uh, wobbly voice. Look at him. So cute. He looks like he had a lisp almost. He's adorbs. That's great. I I guess this is cool. I have to look at this later. He's just their mascot. Yeah, bam. Yeah. Toronto. Oh, proceeds go to the Toronto Humane Society. That's cool. There you go. Look at that. I like when Bruce do that. Yeah. Makes me want to drink more of it. Yeah. Because I'm like I'm helping people by doing that. Yeah, well, you'd be. It'd be rude not to. Yeah, it'd be rude not to drink an entire case. Of Wriggles. Of Wriggles. It's great. And this is only, does it say here? Does not say. Is it five? Five and a half, I think. Five and a half? Nice. Yep. Mm. Super free. It's very, um, I, one could argue it's either like a Vermont star paler almost, or, um, or like a, like a Northeast paler. It's got a nice, like, almost. lingering sweet citrus to it. Yeah, like, it's very uh, much in that vein, you know? It's just yeah. not chalky. Like, yeah, and like Brad was saying, it's like fluffy too. It's, it's like nice soft, and, yeah, right? soft on the, on the palate. Nice yeah, yeah. 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 That's the oat. The oat really smooths it out. Yeah, it's fantastic. So I think next we're doing lactose pale ale. Rally cap, yeah? Yep. Rally cap. Uh, I assume that's something to do with wearing a hat and playing baseball. So rally cap is when your team's down late in the game and the te- the crowd starts rallying behind them. What you actually do is like you flip your hat inside out like that and then you like put it in like that. I'm just ruining my hat. It's okay. And like that's a rally cap right there. So, like, you'll see, like, if, if they're making a comeback late in the game, like, half the crowd stuck around that still thinks they have a chance has their hat on like this. Wow. So, yeah. I don't know if there's a picture of that. Sorry, I broke my hat. Yeah, Captain Shells would be mad at you. Yeah. This one says... I don't want my hat to yell at me. That would be the worst, right? <laughs> These talking hats. <laughs> it's so loud. It's so loud. But anyway... So it said... Uh, on I the think t- we're just getting hazier and hazier, bro. It said, actually, on the back, it's hazy pale ale. Oh, it's like, you know, <laughs> y'all already know. Oh, yeah, that's... that's well, what? You know what? That's murky. Murky. <laughs> In the murky. murky swerving. Sorry, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just... Yeah, I like how you said that. You like that, one? Really? This one looks real fluffy. I know, right? Jeez, I just want to get this in my face. Put it in you. Jesus. How about that? Put it in you? No? Yeah. Pretty much? <laughs> 
Oh, Struth, that's sick. This is the next level up. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Zaka Citra, ripe mango, juicy clementine, Zaka, crisp bro. honeydew melon. Oh. Telling you. Lays. Zaka. Lays. Yeah. That's really sweet and tropical and smooth, like really oh, smooth. Like it just huge. slides so down. My, yeah, Five exactly. One. Oh, that is phenomenal. Mm. You got a lot of work to do, the rest of these guys, to top that bad boy. <clears throat> Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one of these orders. Maybe I need like a P.O. box. Cornwall. <laughs> yeah. On both sides. Now you got to be in the States and you got to be in Ontario. Oh, isn't this stressful? Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I like this a lot. Great work, guys. This is seriously phenomenal. Like, I'd like to hear what people what people think as well. So if y'all like have had this or you guys have done an order, comment below. Let us know like if you do, uh, if you do order from breweries, if that's something that you participate in. And if you have ordered from left field, you know, by the time this drops, it probably would have been out for a few weeks yep. as far as the, the ordering. Um, actually, I think we're going to drop it this week. We're going to drop this video soon. Cool. Because I want to let people know. Um, yeah, have you ordered and what's your favorite left field beer? Because, man, I don't know. I've had a bunch of them and this is probably, I don't know if this is, I'd like to have it side by side, but the the Mango Lassi joint, because that yes. was incredible. Actually, I've heard, of, spoken to a couple people saying that They've changed it from the original recipe. It was a right. bit too bitter the first time. So it's even fluffier. Yeah, now. exactly. I love it. Do you know what I was worried about? Because I stressed trying to get that. Yeah. Because I thought it was a one and done. Yeah. And that really makes me happy to know that this Because if it works and people like it, just kind of... I, I even thought this was a one and done too. Like yeah, yeah, I did too. That's why I was so quick. I think I got it like the first couple of days it came out. Because I'm like, oh my God, we need to get we this. We were going to Vermont, I think. Saw it on Instagram. And, yeah. Yeah, and, and I was like, please go, please go by and get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, fantastic. This is great. Yeah. Um, what's up next, fellas? Uh, we have Bang Bang is next. Bang Bang was the little sour. I, this one, I have as the number one left field beer that um, I have seen people post on Instagram. And, I love that color. Always hear about it. It's a beautiful color. This one stands yeah. out for sure. Um, would you call that magenta? I would absolutely call that magenta. Yeah. Could even be uh, what's that other uh, pink color? Coral. No, Coral's like oh, a like a reddish, thing. right? Yeah. Babe, what would you call this color? Is this magenta? I think hot, pink. hot pink. Hot yeah. pink. That works for me too. Hatas or magentas? Oh. <laughs> it says uh, this refreshing sour pops with freshly sliced lemon, papaya, sour candy, tangerine, and hints of pineapple. Stop it! You're just speaking my language out here. Oof. I like kettle sours a lot. Now I'm wondering, are they selling these these shorter cans and singles at the brewery, like they would tall cans, yeah, or are they coming like six sixes? Packs? No, yeah. I reckon they're totally selling in. Uh, mm. In um, in small packs, just in the interest of, it's funny. This like is a trend. And stuff. This is a trend that we heard a lot of brewers talking about before it actually happened. Now Kettle everyone's sells. doing it. Well, the short little cans, like the three fifty five mil, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's cool. I like it. Bring a few of them. Keep them in your pocket. Just on the train. Just on the train. train. Yeah. Just get it. Yeah. In. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh. Wow. I had a, I had some kettle sours recently that weren't that sour. This got a kick I'm to be it. disappointed. No, and yeah. this is like because when you want when you're having a sour, you want a bit of that. I want that. Yeah, want pucker. That you want it to pucker. Beautiful smell. All those. Oh my god! I need like I need so I need this whole tiny. thing just like for myself to like take in one at a time and yeah. like really soak it up rather than just have like a splash of each. Um, this is crazy. Definitely getting a lot of those things: sour candy, tangerine. Pineapple, lemon, definitely it's very lemon. pleasant. Citrusy as hell. Very pleasant. You are just sucking that back. Well, right? I'm not putting much in my glass, but no, my love, my A couple sips. It just tastes so darn good. Oh, it's amazing. Does it say how much this one is here? No, it's uh, five three. Nice and light, nice and easy. Yeah, nothing super strong. Right? Everything's kind of in and around five to six, and. Not too aggressive, but yeah. sessionable, and it's really good. A ton of flavor, though. I love it. Really, really good. Yeah. What do we have next? Is it uh, Greenwood? Uh, I believe, yeah. I think that sounds good. Yeah, let's go Greenwood. So Greenwood's an IPA, 6.3. Uh, bright, juicy. Nod to the hazy beers of the Green Mountain State. Well, <laughs> that's pretty good. I think we need to Oh, that's like four hazy beers in a row. Are you angry? Oh. Are you mad? Does that upset you? Does it excite you? All of the above. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
We'll put even less because I looked at how long the video's been, right? <laughs> uh, I see we're already at like... 14. Yeah, we're pretty deep. Little, little we did have like 30 beers to drink, okay? That's the thing. That is the thing, though. Gosh. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of haze going on there too. Mm -mm. Mm. It's true. This, this is an intense marathon. So this is just an IPA. IPA. Straight up. Greenwood IPA. Reppin VT. Cheers. Get in you. Get it in ya. Nice. Okay. So it's kind of like this is like a light laser show, I would say, because that's a Vermont IPA, and that was the last one I. Yeah. I'm familiar with from uh, I, I don't remember a lot I don't really remember the tasting notes we on had it. one it before while, one so. it was like February yeah maybe you had it since I don't know I, I don't think I have had it since no no we well, only went there one time but that's when I got the, the mango lassi joint they had another one too what was it it was the uh, session IPA the passion fruit joint oh, day okay. game yes day game fantastic so you're pointing at something no, I, I'm just, I was going to make comments saying that, like, all of these are really, like, the mouthfeel on it, like, they're velvety. Like, they are just... Everything. Yeah, like, I don't know what... Smooth. I would, these are exceptional beers. Yeah. Like, I knew left field was dope. I feel like because you're in the West, when I'm here, I'm either deep east, like, deep east, not, yeah. like, city, downtown east, it's, or I'm in the West. It's a bit so tough like, to get to, but it's really worth it. Like, like yeah. and it's yeah, a yeah. real cool experience. You go in, and it's kind of set up almost like a... Like a sports field? Yeah, like a sports field. There's a big sign in the back, like a home visitor scoreboard, and then they're always playing some sort of sporting event, usually baseball. Right. And they have food. Everything's... They have food, right? Uh, or snacks. Yeah, snacks, yeah. It's a cool tasting room. It seemed like I was like, I went really quick. I saw Kevin. Shout out to Kevin working at Lefebvre. Oh, what up, Kevin? Um, I saw him, and I was kind of distracted because I was yeah. like in a rush. Right. I was coming to get you to drive to Michigan, yeah. so I knew we had to get on the road. Right. So I was just like, what's up? Ah, there's people everywhere. Should we get these beers and get out? So I didn't get to like... So good. I saw Bim. I don't know him, but Bim yeah. from Godspeed was sitting there having a having a beer. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, it's a cool to... spot, and it's 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 a real like family joint. Like you see a lot of like just community, like, community, right? And people are coming in, and you can tell everyone in that area like exclusively buys beers from there. It doesn't go to like to the beer yeah. service field. They come in, they grab you know whatever, and they they take off. But just a fun vibe, and I agreed. I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't been there before. For sure, it definitely seemed like that. Um, the, like the place and people seem loyal to Left totally hundred percent. Like and I like that a lot. I think any brewery that can generate loyalty and I think it's based pre predominantly or initially on location, which and then that turns into like, like how how can you not be loyal? These beers are disgusting. <laughs> like every single one is fire. There's not one like dead serious. I'm like, well, that's fine. And I'm fretting a bit because we're always nice. If we don't like it, we're like, yeah, you can kind of tell. Well, let's get into one of your favorite styles then. Dry hop IPA. Double dry hop. Oh DDH. IPA. I'm all about that DDH, Space ladies man. and gentlemen. Spaceman, check the link in the bio. No sh Great lyric video. Part of my sleeve album. Fantastic. Nice. Change your life. Represent. Nosh dog. Give me a little, little dash skis. Yo, sauce. Pardon? Oh, Tiffany wants to this one? Yeah. What's that, Spaceman? Oh, save some though, because I got to still review it after. You know that drill us. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Getting, getting the uh, the hot burps. The hot burps. Favorite. Yes. All right. Definitely give me that. Did say what hops? It was uh... on the can. Babe, can you read out the can there? See what hops it is. Also, it just smells creamy. Doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. I like the pairings. Fantastic. Yeah. Lovely. Everything's so this is great, isn't it? This is phenomenal. <laughs> So Brad, are you pulling out your phone right now and uh, just ordering from Lefebvre? <laughs> I actually haven't been. Looks like that's what you're doing. Because if I lived here... I don't blame you. Scott, I'm going to get you... What I'm going to do, I'm going to order to your joint and you BML me. Absolutely. I, you should actually do that. It wouldn't even cost much to send it. Because I send it to Ottawa. Yo, a big or, ass box. Just or, I'll have it waiting here ready for you when, when, I come you, when you come by. Yeah. Or whenever Santa. you want. Like, to, or to me or... Just saying. My house is your house. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I know you're going to do this that. This is great. Oh, man, that's a cool... Like, and there's a bunch of other breweries that have been doing it as well. Like, uh, I think Leffield was the second one. There's another brewery that did it recently. Yep. Um, here in Ontario, a little bit north of here. So, 
and I, I'm sure it just keeps happening, and it seems to be a really cool trend. But that's one trend that no one said yet. On no, podcast. no one mentioned it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I feel like there has to be some sort of... Oh, 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 good call, good call. You are the best producer. producer. If you're not following iTiffany Alexis (laughs) on Instagram, she's the best producer in the game. Coming... Oh, here. Oh, thanks. Cleanse your palate, bro. Mm -hmm. My hands are clean, eh? Mm. Oh, yeah. This is a lengthy video, bro. Mm. It's worth it. If you've been to New Zealand, you know what I'm talking about. Fire... I'm actually really excited for the friendly confines. Do you guys have the... Uh, oh my, this is a big-ass bottle. This is bigger than the... Oh, because it's 650. I just had... I saw. The other one. Great photo you like dedicated, last night. crazy bastard. Follow coconut? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Follow mm-hmm. Scott Beer Cole on Instagram and Twitter. His uh, link down below Fire and on flames. the screen. His uh, photo game is strong right now. He is dedicated. He's the most dedicated person I know to props in photos. <laughs> I recently had a plush pig in one of my photos. I saw that. That was for the... What was that for again? The atab, uh, Abattoir? Atabar, uh, That's right. The, the Bellwoods, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so... Crazy bastard. I don't know. <laughs> Just think of stuff and put it in there. Your mate. Your yeah. urine mate. Well, coconuts were on sale, so... <laughs> Laser show. Uh, 8, 8, oh, 8, 8 even. 8% uh, Vermont style IP, double IPA. So I'm pretty sure this is uh, considered a Vermont style... That's like, isn't that sexy? I want to put on a hat. Normally, reminds me of Legends League. Legends League, yeah. yeah. I was just about to say that, bro. The hat's really cool. They sell, I think, it's a couple of hats. They do, uh, I was going to say, like, do they snap backs? I think, I think, I think it's noisy as your hat backs. Or? What's that? Are they as noisy as yours? I can hear from here. This one, but yours is like really loud. They're a little quieter, um, but super cool. Uh, they do the strap, yeah. the leather strap? Like, yeah. Class, all day. Mm-hmm. All class. Um, laser shizzo. Man. Is that okay? Is that enough? No, it's good, dude. Brettles? Tiff, you want some uh, Laser Show double IPA? I knew it. See? See, see the key words to Tiff? It's like, sure. Let me get my glass. Would you like a Super Imperial Double <laughs> Mega Brew? I'll take it. Sounds good to me. A Session Double IPA? Is that a thing? You are. I think we did we talk about that we before. We were that. Session Imperial Someone actually style. made one, yeah. A Session Imperial Stout? I remember who told us that. No, it was, it, was hilarious. Re- it was a ridiculous thing. It yeah. was, I was a- complaining and uh, complaining. <laughs> In um, Merca, right? About it, yeah, yeah. It was one of those two places. Well, I don't remember. Was, was getting out of I think it was Michigan. Lowe's. Lowe's us. Mm. <sighs> Can we have a bad beer? <laughs> hey, careful what you <laughs> wish for. That. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, sorry. Oh, this goes well with pretzels and hot mustard. No, I'm going. Yeah. It goes good with pretzels, bro. It really does. It goes really well. Chuck is a pretzel, mate. Yeah, sorry, man. Baby, want a pretzel? Um, okay. Okay, the big guys love pretzels, is what I'm saying. It's great. I like how they, they tell you to pair it with stuff that you can find at the ballpark. Like, oh. Nachos and cheese, pretzels. Honestly, this is br- like, this is branding. Like, branding is brilliant. Like, it really is. It's deep. Yeah. From like marketing perspective, like that is uh, genii. Super cool. I love it. The tap it. handles are like baseball bats. Really? Pretty Man, cool. that's dedicated. Yeah. Like a whole way. We went there, like it was like a, a Sunday day game, watching the Jays. We got a flight. We sat like on the like the benches. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, and it just was like just such a, a cool, cool experience. Yeah, I felt like I was at the ballpark, like yeah. drinking beers, but good on him, man. I was drinking good beer, not crappy ballpark beer. No. Which, you know, that's a... That's yeah. A, that's so a in the States, they do get craft there, right? Yeah. They, get, like, craft, they, they, uh, they have some options. Like, I, I guess it depends places, on the park right? you're at, but... Yeah. I feel like they're starting to really push in. I'd like to see that here. That would change the game. I wouldn't have to go no get... No pun intended. Right? 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 Yeah, they would. That pun was intended, let's be honest. <laughs> mm. They should totally do that. I think it'd be really good here. Much needed. Switch it up. Now we're doing... Ephus Oatmeal Brown Ale. I think I've had this one. I think I've that's kind of the, that may be the first left field I ever tried. A bit of Ephus? Yeah, it's what been does around it mean again? from time. It's a, a seldom pit. thrown Ephus. Yeah. It, it's an unexpected high arching pitch that catches the batter off guard. Yeah. Is that what it is? It actually is that. So like they, they don't use it anymore, but like you throw... I can't throw one, Arch, but essentially... Like up? Yeah, like you literally like lob it in, and the guy's like, what? And then it like drops in for a strike, and you're like, whoa... They, it must be really hard to like nail that exact spot to go through that strike zone. Yeah, there's a strike zone. Weird is that way thing? to throw it. Yeah, yeah. 
But like they, they ESPN Holland. They used to do it back in the day, like way back when, when like they wore like woolen sweaters and oh, like really back then. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the last time an Ephus has been thrown, but correct me if I'm wrong. It may have been uh, tried more recently than that, but it's actually pretty lows. Lows us. Yeah. yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. Spilled oil. So what is this? Is an oatmeal oatmeal uh, brown ale? Cool. Which look to be honest. Brown ale is potentially... Style generally doesn't excite me. Oh, I'm bored. I didn't get full asleep in a brown ale. But I had a couple... However. However. I had a couple lately. And I've been in... You know what? I've got over my uh, haze uh, obsession. Thank you. I was hoping you were going to say that. that, Because I am... Like, I'm not by no means over it. No. But like... I'm not obsessed anymore. Yeah. Me neither. Like, I'm about that life. Like, about that life. But... Like since you got me the stout glasses and then it's yeah. cold now, like I'd be rocking the. That stout probably has a lot to do with it, like the the weather. Like, Although all summer, like we got into it at the end of winter or like yeah. February last year, yeah. this year, last, yeah, this year, and like moving throughout the summer, like I didn't want to drink anything else, and we were go- we were traveling a lot, going to different places, yeah. just getting fire ass beer, yeah, uh, that are all haze, all these you know from left field Bellwoods, like. Um, I guess people like Blood Brothers and Reinhardt and like all the, a bunch of stuff. Toronto was killing it in the Hayes game. Then we go to Michigan, they're killing it. And then like Vermont, blah, blah, blah. And we're just like hazed up. Yeah. I went to New York and it was out of control. We just went to Cali, it was out of control. And I finally it was got rid lot, of all my lot. haze. I think you had to get it out of your system. And I, but and like I just the, drank it all and I didn't yeah. go anywhere for a bit. I right. Mean, like staying because you, have, you had to drink them so frequently because... Well, you have to get rid of them. Right. So now I come back from Toronto, I got a whole bunch and we're going to Vermont in a couple of days. Nice. So it's going to so be a problem. You're going to re-up, you're going to be back on it yes. again. Yes, enter the contest. This oh. video is going to come out before the contest ends. So we're running a contest, a holiday giveaway right now. And we actually, I'm going to, Tiff and I are going do to grab some Do we have a picture of the stuff or we just have a breakdown I'm going to do it on Instagram stories. Make sure you check us on Instagram. I don't have it here. I'm in Toronto right now. But when I get back tomorrow, I'll do, I'm going to start doing like one a day, showing the different prizes. We're going to pick up a four pack of beer and the winner gets two if they're in Canada. So they uh, have to be in Canada. Because you can't ship to the US. Yeah, or sometimes, like, there's, I think I saw um, entries, even if you're in Australia, like our mates in Australia or anywhere else, enter. Because it's like this random number generator. It's not rigged or nothing. Like, it's like this yep. plugin we're using yep. that you can enter a bunch of different ways. You just got to, like, follow us on all the different social. And Sweet. The more times you do it, the more chances. So it's going to generate it. If you're in Canada, the grand prize gets two cans of whatever we get. I wanted to get heady. I don't know if we can get it. Um, I was going to see whatever fire ass Vermont stuff. I'm going to a specific brewery that we haven't been to before. Okay. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get some stuff from there. Nice. And then uh, the next two prizes, we'll get a candy as well. And then we've got some dope ass merch from Quebec and Ontario Brewery. So enter. Link's in the description. Enter the contest. It. It's super easy and you can get some fire. I'm going to keep doing contests. We're going to keep doing contests because I, I really enjoy it. Start doing more regularly. Yeah, I want to give back. everyone around. involved. And, yeah, like we've got a good yeah, community here and everyone's absolutely. really supporting us. So yeah. in the interest of a 29 minute video, let's keep this moving. Ephus. Get in here. Sorry, Tiff. Okay. Are you going to cut it down? No. Nice. Raw and uncut. Mm-hmm. This is great. Any thoughts? I'm going to be quiet for a second. Am I being awkward? Tasting. No. No, I'm enjoying. He was enjoying, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is really good. Yeah. This is the, this is why brown owls are good. It's full. It's full, it's toasty, it's like, creamy, because it's, nice. it's oat, right? It's nothing like spiky that there's no horribleness. No, like it's sometimes nice. brown owls can be bland. This is far from bland. Yeah. Uh, and, and stuff like this it makes nice. me more interested in styles that I would normally sort of not be as excited about. I want to drink this like while I'm opening Christmas presents in the morning. Okay, so it's like your morning starter. Oat, yeah. Oatmeal and a brown ale. Yeah. No, yeah, it's no, tasty, you're right. super easy to drink, nice yeah. and smooth, malty. I like it. I dig it. Mm. It's got a nice little fruity, like, I guess, a little hop balance. I guess, you know, maybe things aren't sort of super hopped, but they still have um, roasted moss, toasted nuts, touch of bitterness, cream, some cr- surprisingly creamy, smooth taste. It's exactly what it is. Surprisingly creamy, creamy smooth taste. I like it. Bam. All right. I like it. I'm in it. Bricks and mortar coffee porter. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> You're a poet and you didn't even know it. Mm. Man, this is a lot. <laughs> We've got another video. To let's just this. let's just sniff them. Let's not taste them. Let's just taste them. See we... No, it's good. Uh, coffee ports, last Stew. year. I'm loving port of these. Do you know what? This is actually the most impressive beer because they pretty much hit every, like, from pale ale onwards, every style. Um, there was no, like, lager or pills. Um... Did you have one you were most excited about from the beginning? Spaceman and Greenwood. Nice. Um, was most excited about, and then also Bang Bang. You? 
Uh, I guess I wanted to try the friendly confines because I've had the other version. Mm-hmm. I've had most of these before. Uh, I really like Bang Bang, so obviously I was excited about that one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'd say Friendly Confines was my mm. number one I was looking forward to. You're smart because you had it the other day. I had mine like a yeah. month ago. I didn't even think of this though. I didn't think I, I didn't I think this was part this. of the... Oh, the, the box? Or yeah. When I came to Notion, he sent me the photo. I was like, so... Because yeah. I really wanted that. They had it at um, Witchstock. Did they we got day drunk. Too? Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. day drunk. That was a problem. And it was messy. And we fell yeah. asleep at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Six uh, percent coffee porter um, with Pilot Coffee Roasters. Pilot's fantastic. I love that they're to Montreal now as well. Nice. So this is my Toronto coffee, but now it's around. Ooh, it smells great. Get in here. Cheers, guys. Fantastic. This is nine from nine, ladies and gentlemen. It just smells hectic, but doesn't yep. taste as no. intense as it smells. When you say hectic, what do you mean? As in like intense, really like taste. strong. Like really yeah. coffee? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's espresso shot. Coffee, yeah. Doesn't you know, it has it has a bitterness like after it, it's sweet on the chocolatey real yeah, bitter right. dark chocolate but like sweet first and then it kind of finishes nice and bitter in the back like I'm yeah. getting that real on the side of my tongues and the I'm the getting side that too. Of my tongue I have one tongue tongas <laughs> on the side of my tongue so I, I couldn't hear you over this now but oh sorry yell sometimes sorry. yeah um, so I feel like it's going to be even more hectic when we check the um, the friendly confines because that's a coffee stout like that's like heavy. Um, like compared to something like this, which is more a bit more like you know you can sort of see through it a bit. Yeah, there. and it's not it's not super like syrupy creamy. or yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is creamy versus syrupy. Like the other one I had the other night, but like I appreciate both. Mm. But the other friendly confines, but it has like it's it's thick, like it's it's, it's syrupy. Tick-us. Yeah, yeah. Tick-us, as they say, as the, as the kids do, yeah. and Scarlum does say, is that right, Brad? True. Yeah, but this is great. Yeah, lovely. Oh man, great right, balance, man. sweet bitterness. Yeah. Well done, left field. Seriously, well done. You're serving the community. You're doing everybody a service here. <laughs> Scotty, I'll let you open this one. Last one? All right. With that Brewheads bottle opener, if you hit the link in the description, you know this, there's a man. lot of links in this description. You get that 15% discount, best bottle opener on the market. Shout outs to Uncle Phil. Blue. It really is. Like, I, like legitimately. I tell everyone. I hate just, you not using I will it. not use anything other than They go to this. someone's house. I'm like, I'm yeah, just no, going to. No, I'm, I'm going to use gonna a cigarette leave. lighter. I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me that screwdriver, that butter knife. I'm not using your stupid <laughs> opener. It's not the brew. <laughs> it's the yeah. <laughs> Someone out of here. Someone asked me the other day. Shout out to Sean Grondon, your mate. Oh, <laughs> everybody, we're doing a wave. There's the baseball connection. Oh, shit. That's a whole nother story. Uh, he was asking me because I take often in my pictures, I have the official brew heads opener. Mm-hmm. He says, what do you do? Do you, do you jam the bottle cap like up under there? I'm like, no, it's a magnet. It's, it's a magnet. It's, it's a magnet, amazing. Sean. Look at that. Look, it's a sticks, doesn't come off. So like you open it, it literally just stays put. Magnus, how do they work? It's not bent at all. Insane clown It's possible. essentially like magic. So <laughs> basically just purchase this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Scott B. Cole is the type of gentleman who wouldn't lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. He's not. At least not to your face. Not to your face, but to your face. No, we yeah, just, I can't we just did 10 beers. This is our number. This is our like world record. Uh, this is longer than the Alchemist one, goddammit. Thanks, mate. Alchemist is the Alchemist care. was... F- Four, three? Was it three? The real, the real heads will watch this no, sorry, video. No, this was 33 minutes, but it was uh, four or five? Yeah. We did four. Four, okay. Yeah. This is ten. And we did the same, not much longer. So we were just talking so a lot. So you had just talk. Oh, yeah. All right, final beer. Friendly, friendly confines. One, yeah. It was a big one. Yeah. This is Bellwoods and Left Field. Now, this uses the other coffee roast. I believe it's, is it Propeller? Oh, shit. Is that the only no, difference? No, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Pilot. What is the difference? It's, it's a different malt and... Um, different uh, malt? It's a different, oh, a different it's, a, it's a different grain bill. Oh, okay. And a different... Excuse me. A different roaster. One's from the east end, one from the west end. The so east... what's so what's the same? The hops and the yeast, I guess, or I believe so. Okay. Fuck, I forgot. And there's the... no information here. I can check it on time. The other but... one had uh, chocolate, coffee, and Co- coconut in it. Correct. It's just coconut. It's coconut too, but the coconut's mad. Coffee, cocoa, it. coconut. Yeah. So it just has a different coffee roaster. Apologies cool. if we got that wrong. It just doesn't say, and I can't remember. So whatever's the east end is it's either pilot or propeller. Cool. Uh, Get in you. Get it in you. Oh my lord. Oh, that is amazing. They did not disappoint. I want this with like some dessert. 
Yeah, it's like, like a dessert beer, right? Eh? At the end, yeah. silky. Definitely Vanilla so ice cream on the side. Stop it. <sighs> Out of control. Leftfield, thank you. This is phenomenal. Uh, if you are looking to get beer ordered to your door and you live in Ontario, Canada... It only makes sense. Please do yourself a favor. Any of these beers... Like, basically get the same one as this. If I would do if this. You're an, I would you're do... Noob, absolutely. Get all ten. And there's others. There's others on that... Uh, you can try the, them. Yeah, with them, whatever order you want. There was... Yeah, there's a bunch more here. I'd say go on the website. See what you want. Order everything anyways. Anyway, just do them all. And just, just do them all. Just try yeah. it. And tell them we sent you. And then... When you forget what you like, order get more of those. Them. Get more of them. Yeah, so support local do. breweries. Simple. That's what it is. Toronto yeah. was killing it. Um, we're going to cut it off there. If you enjoyed the video, chuck us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. It's actually over here. Is it's it? Not under your nipple. Oh my God. I know. I thought it was Scott's I've been nipple. misguiding everyone all this Follow time. Follow my nipple and come right on down. Oh, that's and okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, subscribe to us on um, Apple Podcasts and on uh, Mixcloud, on Stitcher, on TuneIn, on Google Play. All of the above. Check out the podcast right now. We get back to getting we didn't deep in the Cali right now, so Ooh. the good stuff's coming out. And big things, uh, big things, big things. And follow us on social media at BOS Podcast. That's it, y'all. Get, get in, it in ya. Ya.